a great season you've had on SNL. Man, oh, man, every week you guys came at it and you destroyed it. It was so great to watch. It was fun. I mean, was... turns out um, America uh, likes comedy. <laughs> <laughs> About, about yeah, Donald yeah. Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But now you're going prime time. This yes. Is, this is like a different deal now. Next Thursday starts at 9 p.m. on NBC. That's right. It's just you and Colin, but maybe some, is there going to be some special guests or? Yeah, maybe you. <laughs> I'll be absolutely, yeah. 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 I'm yeah. fun. Come on, Jimmy. You, you got you to come for this. This is a big deal. This is the Seinfeld slot. <laughs> it is Thursday nights on NBC. That's right. Thursday nights on NBC is the Seinfeld slot. That's the Seinfeld slot. That's right. But you, it's you, you and Colin, man, oh man, what a breakaway uh, season. So what? It, just because it was such a, a a big year that NBC was like, hey, would you do a three primetime deals? I don't know. They just Lauren texted me and said, hey, you're showing up to work early. <laughs> That's how that in works. Early. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. I think, you know, we're doing within three episodes. Yeah. So it should be fun. I mean, how often do you get to go back to work during your summer vacation? <laughs> <laughs> were you doing stand-up uh, over this break? Or yeah, no? I did a bunch of stand-up uh, Pacific Northwest. Went to a lot of nice places. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it was did pretty dope. Went to Boston. Oh, it's great. But Boston's a great city. Oh, it's a great city. Oh, I love that place. I if, you're like, if you're white. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You could be a Celtic. <laughs> that's it, that's it. No, yeah, that's no, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but besides, let's see, that was a great place. But you, did you always want to be a comedian? When, you always knew, you're like, oh, that's comedy is my thing. I honestly didn't know. Like, you always want to be. Who doesn't want to get paid to make uh, medium jokes? But <laughs> first, I used to paint, I used to do art. And I used to like, you know, put like art on T-shirts, and I used to sell T-shirts in the street, oh, right man. here in New York City. Yeah. 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 Did you say, did you sell them to anyone famous? One time I sold, a, <laughs> one time I sold a shirt to uh, this kid, this this white kid, and uh, I'm just painting the picture, guys. I, I, I yeah. sold the shirt to, to to this kid, and he was like, oh man, my dad uh, is a designer. I'm gonna bring him by to buy a shirt. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Next week, he brings his dad and his Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> I know, yeah. Love Tommy so, Hilfiger. No, this is true. Tommy Hilfiger comes by, and uh, he's like, oh, man, I love your stuff. What? Come down to the office, and uh, I'll give you a job or something. And I'm like, all right. This is amazing. I go to his office. He introduces me to everybody in the office individually. He's like, this is Michael Che. One of these days, he's going to be a great artist. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> that was the first time I ever heard the uh, term Froyo. Because <laughs> they had a Froyo machine. <laughs> and, the, and the girls was like, you want a Froyo? <laughs> um, <laughs> what what do you want on your Froyo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brit <What>? Froyo? <laughs> I, have, I like gummies on my fry, yeah. <laughs> you're like, what is going on right now? Yeah, uh, something about Froyo and dry ingredients that people, <laughs> people love it. But anyway, he, he took me there and he, he took me to his office and he's got this giant, big uh, American flag there. And I got nervous because, you know, whenever I see too many American flags, I'm like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> I start, you know, sometimes, you know, I didn't know if you missed the good old days. <laughs> You can't have, you gotta make sure there's 50 stars on an American flag. No, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're saying, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you count it. There's gotta be a flag that recognizes Hawaii. Yeah, no, no, no this, this flag, yeah, this flag. But does. this was a good, this was a legit flag. That's his thing. It was a beautiful flag. Yeah. And he, and he, he, he paid me, he took $1,000 out of his pocket and gave it to me cash. And he said, you know why I'm giving this to you? Because somebody gave me a chance and I'm gonna give you a chance. That's cool. I took the Grace. money. I took that money and I went to work and then I went home and I never came back. <laughs> Why? I, I stiffed him. Why? What do you mean? I got nervous. I stiffed. I just went home and just stopped showing up. <laughs> Spent the money. What are you talking to me? You can't do that. Tommy Hilfiger? That was a great thing you did. I did it. <laughs> But what, have you ever <laughs> run into Tommy again? Uh, no, on purpose. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but I always want to pay him back. I actually, I, I want to, I want to do something if it's okay. Sure. I want to. I, I brought my checkbook, and I want to write out a check to Tommy Hilfiger right now on national TV. <laughs> I hope he sees you. You have a sharpie. I'll do. I'll, whatever. <laughs> 
This is really you your checkbook. No, this is really Michael Che. Michael right Che, this here. is really your checkbook. And I like brown leather because I'm a 70 year old black man on the inside. <laughs> Pay it to the order of Tommy. How many eyes are in Tommy? Hill figure. Yep. Uh, 19. Yeah. <laughs> $1,000. This is how long ago. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I signed in the memo section, so it's not gonna clear. But this is to Tommy Hilfiger. I got your money, bro. I can do that. I can get that to Tommy. Can you get it to him? I can get it to Tommy. Take the whole book. Yeah, rip it out. I'm gonna get this. I, I can get this to uh, to to Tommy. 2017. I'm you know I'm just I'm gonna start paying taxes and I'm gonna pay Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> Here it is, right there. We can bleep out things. It's good. Just make sure you don't cash it until October 13th. <laughs> <laughs> Should be all right. You're, you're big time now, though. I, I saw a video of you uh, sabering a bottle of champagne. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, that was a misunderstanding. <laughs> no, this is... No, because they was like, hey, would you... This guy comes up to me at a bar. He's like, hey, you want to saber? But that's all he said, saver. I thought you were saying, do you want to savor some champagne? Sure, And I was like, yeah, I want to savor some champagne. <laughs> Yeah, champagne. And, when do I don't? When do I not <laughs> savor champagne? He says he comes over with a big old bottle of champagne and a knife, and I'm like, this dude's insane, but I like him. We have a video of you, Michael Che, savoring a bottle of champagne. So we can talk over this too. There you are. <laughs> hey, you're wearing Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. <laughs> you're wearing I, Tommy Hilfiger. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. <laughs> to Hilfiger all over the place. You owe him. <laughs> I got it. Well, you owe him money. I feel like I owe him slightly less now. Because <laughs> it's a commercial of you yeah. popping open champagne looking all cool. Yeah. Yeah, he could have put me on the boat. <laughs> He's got to put you on the boat. He's, He's got to put me on the boat. He's going to be psyched up, man, that, that cool. you made it. Yeah. Well, I thought it'd be fun since uh, Weekend Update is now going to be primetime Thursdays at 9 on NBC. Would you like to saber a bottle of champagne? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, man. That's a real deal. This is... Uh... Just for good luck? Yeah, In no, let's measure. do it. Oh, uh, this is exciting. Now you know how to do it? Uh, listen, I'm a pro. I've done this one time. So we can update. We can update next Thursday. Not a nope. Oh! Oh, come on. That's, that's now you know what you're doing. It, it, it takes three times. That's how you know you do it. Michael Che, everybody. We can update summer edition. Premieres Thursday, August 10th. Live at 9 p.m. on NBC. We'll be right back to perform from George Ezra. Stick around, everybody. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.